Welcome back to Gastronomic. Today, we're making French macaroons. French macaroons are probably the most trickiest cookie to make. I've tested a few recipes. I have one that's nearly bulletproof. Follow along and you should be able to complete this recipe and enjoy these delicious cookies. Our first very important step in this process is to sift one and three quarters cups of powdered sugar with one cup of almond flour to remove the lumps. Keep going until it looks like this. Discard anything that did not make it through the sieve. Next up, three egg whites with the whip attachment on your mixer. These egg whites must be at room temperature. To help stabilize the egg whites, once they start bubbling, go ahead and add one quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. Once the bubbles have really smoothed out and become a lot thinner, you're gonna slowly add a quarter cup of sugar. Our goal here is to achieve a semi-stiff peak like this. All right, here it is, the most important step to making French macaroons. It's all about mixing. Here we are, we have our stabilized egg whites as a foam. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our dry ingredients in by cutting and folding. We're gonna mix the dry ingredients in in three stages. This is all to ensure we do not overmix our batter. If you overmix the batter, you won't get the cookies to puff up and they won't look like macaroons. Over or under mixing is usually the main culprit for failed macaroons. If you follow along in this video and if your batter looks just like mine, it should work out properly. Notice I did not add any food coloring to these macaroons. These are going to be white. If I were to add food coloring, I would have added it at the very end before the egg whites were at stiff peaks. Here's a little trick I've learned to keep your hands clean while filling a piping bag. Go ahead and get a cup, put the tip inside of it, and then wrap the edges around. This will hold it in place so you can fill it up. And then once you're done, just remove it from the edges, twist it up, cut the tip, and you're ready to pipe. Keep in mind, this batter is a foam. You need to be very gentle with it. Imagine tiny air bubbles throughout the batter. Don't pop them. Here's another little trick. I printed out these circles to put underneath my sill pat so when I'm piping out the cookies, I can ensure they're the same size. I'll leave a link in the description so you can print out this page as well. No piping tip is necessary for the bag here. I just cut the bag with my scissors. As I was piping this, I learned that just keep the bag at one level and squeeze with your top hand. Let the cookie kind of spill out and fill the circle. The next important step is to let them sit on the counter for about 25 minutes until they develop a skin. You'll know the skin's there when you go to touch them and the batter doesn't stick to your fingers. Then they're ready to bake. I bake these at 300 degrees in the middle of the oven for 10 minutes. You'll need to let them cool down before you remove them from the sill pat, otherwise they'll stick. I filled these macaroons with buttercream. 
We've completed the cookie by placing another one on top, making a sandwich. Ah, these things are beautiful. Probably one of my favorite cookies. Definitely a challenge to make, but worth it. Again, you can color the batter, make these any color you want, put any kind of filling you want in it. Jam would be nice. Also, these are great gift cookies to be wrapped up or placed in a small box. And of course, served with milk. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Gastronomic. See you on the next one.